As a Swiss plant manufacturer, we develop, plan and install a wide range of innovative complete solutions for waste treatment with recovery of recyclable material. We are proud to make an important contribution to the protection of the environment and conservation of resources with our technologically pioneering processes. Through our own innovative developments, we make a significant contribution to the consistent improvement of the technology and at the same time achieve high customer satisfaction in the bargain. The sludge water treatment plant at Peter Arge in Sempach is an excellent example of the latest application of our technologies. This plant was designed for a wide variety of sludges such as street sludge, drilling mud and many other types of sludge. With just a few structural changes, the plant was installed in an existing industrial warehouse with limited space. The incoming lorries empty their load and are weighed before and after. A mesh protects the plant against objects which are larger than 50 millimeters. The mixture of sand, sludge and lightweight materials is then washed in sludge tanks and pumped onto the light material dewatering screen. Light materials such as paper, leaves and plastic are separated from the muddy water. A screw conveyor transports the coarse material and the sand and muddy water mixture from the intake to the screening machine which deftly separates coarse material, sand and muddy water. The sand is then separated from the sludge using a cyclone. The dewatered sand and the collected coarse material are stored in troughs and supplied for use. The reservoir for the clarification stage also serves as a storage tank. Agitators prevent the sludge from settling and create the conditions for smooth operations. Depending on the type of sludge, the treatment plant can be operated continuously or in batches. In the adjoining clarifier, different flocculants are used, depending on the sludge, in order to thicken the sludge. The automatic sedimentation measurement monitors the sedimentation behavior and regulates the addition of flocculants. This and all other stages of the process are monitored and controlled from a console. Once the sludge has reached a certain thickness, it is pumped over to the buffer tank. The clarified water flows directly into the process water tank via the overflow. The temporary storage allows the thickened sludge to be automatically pressed around the clock so that filter press capacity can be kept within limits. The mixing tank serves as the supply for the filter press. In it, the sludge is homogenized once again and the filter press can be continuously supplied with uniform sludge. In addition, it offers the option of mixing in additives such as lime in order to accelerate the pressing process if necessary. From the mixing tank, the thickened sludge is pumped into the filter press using a piston diaphragm pump at up to 21 bar. Here the sludge is dewatered and a dry substance of up to 80% can be achieved. The press has 30 filter plates, which are sufficient for the current output. The capacity can be doubled through an upgrade with a further 30 plates. The filtrate from the filter press is fed back into the cycle. The clarified water is cleaned of the last turbidity particles and checked using a sand filter. The pH value of the overflow water is adjusted with a CO2 system and it can thus be fed back into the water cycle. The plant is currently designed for 50 cubic meters of sludge per day and is designed to be further expandable. The volume can thus easily be increased to 100 cubic meters or even 200 cubic meters in the future. Every day it demonstrates its strength as an all-rounder and thus ensures a long-lasting life cycle. Comprehensive advice and individual support are the trademarks of our services. We are constantly evolving in order to be able to meet the latest requirements and fulfill all customer requests to their complete satisfaction.